Servus und grüß dich miteinander. Hi everybody. My name is Dieter von Schura. I am the owner and manager of the Artelino company and we sell Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. Well, dear friends, what fascinates me so much about Japanese prints is not only the aesthetic aspect, the art uh, itself, it's the fact that many, many of these prints, especially the old prints, they tell stories. Japanese prints cover all aspects of Japanese life, Japanese history, um, Japanese culture and the Japanese way of life. And a very frequent subject is sumo wrestling. Sumo wrestling has its roots in the Shinto religion. Written records show uh, that it was must have been practiced as early as the 8th century, but scientists think that it's at least as old as 1,500 years. Many woodblock prints from the 18th and 19th century prove that sumo wrestling has always been very popular in, in Japan. It also kept its popularity after 1945 and after World War II, for the first time, a non-Japanese, an American with the name of Akebono, he reached the highest ranks uh, in sumo wrestling. And of course, that gave an additional boost to sumo wrestling and made it also popular uh, outside of, of Japan. Sumo wrestling is rather specific. It's more than a sports. The match is accompanied by lots of traditional ceremonies. Well, there's first the marching in of the champion. Oh, big. He's accompanied by two assistants. One assistant is walking in front of him and the other one behind him, <laughs> whom you usually don't see. Because, uh, you know, these guys are huge in vertical and horizontal size. Well, the referee, he wears a luxurious uh, kimono and wears a strange hat. And then comes a series of opening ceremonies, opening rituals, and then the contest can begin. The rules of a sumo match are rather simple. It's all about bringing the opponent out of the ring or bringing him down on the floor. Therefore, sumo matches are usually rather short. And um, by the way, there is a very elegant way, but it's very rare of um, getting the upper hand over your opponent, of being the winner carrying the opponent out of the ring. Uh, another interesting aspect, there, is, there are no weight classes. Um, not fair, a guy like me will not have any chances. Let's talk about the artists who made um, prints with sumo subjects. It doesn't make any sense to give you a list in the 19th century, nearly all artists, Hiroshige, Kunisara, Kuniyoshi, they made prints of sumo subjects. Of course, these prints were made for the market. Um, and the artists made what could sell best, and that has always been popular. During for the 20th century, for instance, Sekino Yunichiro, well, many of the prints from the 19th century, like this one, they were made by unknown, and we are not capable of identifying them. That doesn't make them less attractive, in my view. A few tips for collectors. Single prints, like this one, are usually inexpensive, but some prints, especially multi-panel prints, can fetch very, very high prices. Well, um, you can find Japanese prints with sumo subjects every now in our weekly online auctions. So check our catalogs. I would be pleased to see you in our auctions for today enough. And if you have any proposals, 
about subjects for our um, videos that we produce on a regular basis about Japanese prints, write me an email. I would be pleased. And if I like your proposals, uh, we might produce a video about your proposed subject. Have a nice week. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.